Hey guys, it's Hodgepodge here. I have just seen on a Facebook group that I'm in uh, that Safari LTD have just announced their prehistoric figure lineup for 2020. And I am pretty happy with what we're seeing so far. It seems that the general trend so far seems to be um, more obscure species. And I'm a big fan of that. I really like how these lesser-known genera are getting the attention. So we have the Kianzusaurus, Ichthyosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Shringosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Concavenator, Dilophosaurus, Sarcosuchus, and Deinonychus. So if we look at them individually, uh, the Kianzusaurus is a Tyrannosaur, and I think, judging from the coloration... Uh, it looks it looks okay. I know Kianzusaurus has a pretty long snout, and it looks like they've captured that pretty well. The hands look a little weird, and the legs look very long. But I think Kianzusaurus, from what little I know about it, is pretty leggy. So I, I and I think the coloration is simple, but I think it works. Of course, this is very basic, and the image quality isn't the best, and I'm completely off script right now. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. No idea how big it'll be. Uh, the next one, the Ichthyosaurus, very cool. Very killer whale inspired in terms of the coloration. Got that classic counter shading for aquatic animals like sharks and, like I said, killer whales do. The uh, the pose looks very nice on it. I really like that. Uh, the Pachycephalosaurus, thank goodness. It The color scheme reminds me a lot of um, the Stiggy Moloch from uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um with the whole orange thing going on, and I'm just really happy that we're getting a good Pachycephalosaurus figure, finally, because the only really good Pachycephalosaurus one we have is, honestly, the Papa one. I guess it's also the Collector one, but that one's really tiny. So, and I feel like this one's going to be uh, of a more decent size. So I'm, I really like that one. The colour scheme looks very cool. Next we have the Shringosaurus, very obscure Alicotosaur. Uh, an odd lineage of reptiles f only from the Triassic and I am all for getting more Triassic animals in figure form so I'm very happy with that the colour scheme looks quite it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Parasaurolophus from 2017 actually uh, with, like the yellow and then the uh, the brown stripes and the brown legs uh, it looks very cool I like the tail dragon as well that's very cool Next, we have the updated Edmontosaurus, because they retired their other one from, I think, 2011. So it makes sense that we're getting this new one. And it's got the updated head crest and pose, and probably just in terms of accuracy on the whole. And the uh, the color scheme and the patterning, I think, looks very nice. Like the green, pale brown, and the dark brown spots and stripes, which is very cool. I think the head crest is also red or orange. Very nice. That one looks very cool. Next, we have the uh, Concavenator, or Concavenator. Uh, again, very cool. Obscure genus, uh, Carcharodon Uh I like the colour scheme. Simple, but effective. I like the stripes along the top and also on the hump. Uh, the head shape looks pretty much spot on to me. I'd be interested to see if they have put on the, uh, the quills that we know Con Concavenator had on its uh, forelimbs. I can't quite tell from this image, but I, I imagine Safari's really good with um, accuracy, so I imagine they'll be on there. The Dilophosaurus looks quite skinny, but I think I'm so used to seeing like a, a beefier Dilophosaurus. So I think I like this, the stripy tail, and uh, we can't quite see the, uh, the head very well because of the angle, but the head crest looks red. Uh, I think it looks very cool. I think it looks like it's going to be a tripod, which is annoying. But uh, other than that, I think that one looks very cool. I don't know if that's the best angle, but we'll we'll see. We'll see later down the line. Sarcosuchus, very cool. Quite uh, ten, uh, standing quite tall, actually, dragging the tail. The head, the uh, head shape looks basically perfect, and the patterning looks just like modern crocodilians. So a big fan of that. That one looks. Um, it, yeah, there's not much to say about that one. It, it really does look very crocodilian-like, and that's all I can ask for a Sarkasukas figure. And last but not least, we have the Deinonychus. It's nice that we have a Deinonychus figure, because I feel like 
we get so many velociraptor figures, so it's nice to get uh, figures of other raptors that aren't, you know, um, Beetle the Mesozoic one. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all, I love those, but it's nice that we're, we're getting other raptors that aren't velociraptor. And I adore the coloration, the brown and the white, and the tips of the wings look like they've got some coloration going on. The feet are yellow, and I think the, the snout looks a different color as well. The only thing I'm not a fan of is this one, like the Dilophosaurus also looks like it's going to be a tripod, which is, um, that's unfortunate, but I guess I'd rather have a, a, a tripod theropod rather than a, a theropod that constantly falls over all the time. So yeah, I don't know when these are going to come out exactly, but we know that these are planned for 2020. I apologize for the image quality not being the best, but this very early days, I literally just saw this now. But yeah, I'm. this is looking like a pretty promising lineup. I'm very excited to get my hands on some of these. I think my favorite so far is probably the Shringosaurus and the Pachycephalosaurus. They look very cool. They all look very cool. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you tune into my channel because uh, in a few days time, we will be celebrating the 20 year anniversary of Walking with Dinosaurs. So I hope you check that out. I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Walk with Dinosaurs episodes and figures of animals that appear in those episodes. So I do hope you'll check out those videos when they go up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye now.